Today, let's explore the anterior or flexor compartment of the arm. Starting from the superior aspect, notice that the anterior or clavicular fibers of the deltoid muscle have been cut and reflected to expose the deeper muscles of the arm. The remaining part of the deltoid can be seen converging towards the deltoid tuberosity. On the medial side, you can observe the rib cage, along with the intercostal muscles, serratus interior, and latissimus dorsi. The clavicle is visible at the top and just below its lateral end. The cut portion of the pectoralis minor can be seen attached to the coracoid process. Deep to this region lies the axillary vein, coursing beneath the cut edge of pectoralis minor toward the clavicle. Accompanying it is a portion of the brachial plexus. The most superficial muscle of the anterior compartment is the biceps brachii. Here the short head arises from the coracoid process, sharing this origin with the coracobrachialis muscle. While the long head passes through the inner tubercular sulcus before joining the short head to form a common muscle belly. Inferiorly, this muscle gives rise to the bicipital aponeurosis, which contributes to the roof of the cubital fossa. Also note the median nerve, located medial to the biceps brachii. In front of the elbow on the medial side, a fine branch of the medial cutaneous nerve of forearm is visible. Below lateral to the bicipital aponeurosis, you can see the lateral cutaneous nerve of forearm, and on the outer aspect lies the brachioradialis muscle. In this specimen, the short head of the biceps brachii has been cut to display the musculocutaneous nerve which is the primary nerve supplying the anterior compartment of the arm. Within the axilla, the musculocutaneous nerve is positioned lateral to the axillary artery. Here, the cut distal portion of the short head of biceps is placed alongside the long head for clarity. Medial and deep to the biceps brachii, we can observe the brachialis muscle. Notice how the musculocutaneous nerve pierces the coracobrachialis muscle, giving off a muscular branch that supplies the biceps brachii, particularly its long head. It then continues down as the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm. Other key structures visible within the axilla include the axillary vein and axillary artery. The median nerve is also seen positioned between these vessels before coursing medially along the arm. On further dissection, the biceps brachii has been removed to expose the deeper structures of the arm. You can observe the cut ends of the biceps brachii both proximally and distally. Beneath it lies the brachialis muscle, clearly visible in this view. Superficial to the brachialis, the musculocutaneous nerve can be seen, which continues distally as the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm. The axillary artery continues down as the brachial artery, which in the distal part of the arm lies medial to the tendon of biceps brachii. Notice that the median nerve crosses the brachial artery from lateral to medial as it descends. Also visible are the deltoid muscle in the subscapular branch of the axillary artery. With this, we have completed the demonstration of the interior or flexor compartment of the arm.